you're listening to the Starfall Actual Play Podcast. Starfall Actual Play Podcast is a combination of short stories, audio dramas, and actual role-playing to tell a much larger story. In this episode, everyone gets a little hungry, so they visit a Zapper Burger. That's right, most of this adventure tonight is all done in a fast food restaurant. Welcome to Zapper Burger, can I take your order? So Turbo, what do you want to eat? While he's trying to decide, next episode is the last one of this season. Gotta catch this one, because wow. This episode contains strong language, like scrub, squid on, and now and then Terry all talks about work. Listener discretion is advised. Yeehaw! Take the T-Rex down! Three slots of grilled chow, lettuce, tomato, and the best bum money can buy! Take the challenge, make hunger extinct! Only at Zappa Burger! Connect to the, uh, the space station. Is anyone bringing any weapons onto the station? I need you to declare this now. Um, does no. Jerry need to declare himself? I was, gonna, I, was, I was gonna ask the same thing to be fair. It's like the gun show. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Uh, there's something concealed in my peg leg, but it's not like a shotgun hey. or anything. Hey. Okay. Is there something in your peg leg or are you just going to see? <laughs> I don't know this thing, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the whole crew should carry a stun gun. Yeah, I'm, oh, declaring, yeah. I, I'm declaring my stun rifle and my shucking knife. Yeah, you can carry them. Yeah, you, did, you need to declare them. You still need to declare them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I have a first aid kit with a okay. scalpel in it. So, so. is there anything um, going legal? Legal, but. Badass? Not a stun gun. <laughs> Relatively badass, or at least intimidating looking. Nail clippers. Knife? There you go. <laughs> In our weapon stash. Yeah, but not just any nail clippers. They're uh, not, nail so clippers. pistol size, but intimidating. So like the well, the Starfall version of a fucking a Desert Eagle, Eagle fifty. Fucking not, <laughs> yeah. Definitely not and legal on a space station. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'll go with stun gun. And how about the melee weapon side of that question? Ah. Uh, Mm. They don't allow melee weapons at oh, all. Come on. No yeah. shucking knife, but it's a traditional grouping thing. That's what I'm about stun gunnery. No. All okay. right. Well, then I'll just shucking knife for like this. I'll just take my stun rifle and Buffy. How do seafood chefs get around? <laughs> <laughs> do they have to keep all their knives yeah. on locked in a case. What about my scalpel and my medic kit? Looks good. Yeah, it's good. Cool. I think I, should, I feel like I also should attempt to declare my stun bands, but we'll see what they say when we get there. Okay. Now, stun bands um, or bands? there are. Okay, you are a Confederate citizen. Yeah, yeah. I've got Reza because you're, this is your home planet. Yeah. Okay. And. Lava is. I'm a, a, I'm a Hel- Helogian native. Yeah, you're so not only. Well, you're both native to yeah, this yeah, planet. Yeah. Okay. And then. So then you're from Turnhout, was it? Yes. Okay, so you are Confederate citizen as well. The customs, they pretty much. They, they wave hmm. you three through, but when they see you pull your cart, customs agent goes, oh, we can have a talk. Hmm. So they start going oh. through your stuff. All of them. I just packed it. Okay. Is there anything illegal in your cart? <laughs> oh my god. This really? is telling the GM, not the customs <laughs> agent. Well, most of it was e- acquired right. illegally, um, either by stealing or black market. So it just kind of depends which part of space I'm in, whether it's. Uh... Okay. <laughs> what about weapons? Is there any. There's a, there's a lot weapons? of. I'd say there's a lot of contraband okay. in my stuff. Useful stuff, but also... Okay, so it's contraband in that you can't provide receipts on how you acquired it, yep. stolen goods, yep. etc., but not yep. anything that's going to... No me- weapons of mass destruction, for instance. Oh, there's, two, there's two things. Parts for... <laughs> But they give parts for lots of things. Yeah, exactly. Parts for lots of things. So. They take about 20 minutes before they give up. They still don't get through all of it. They're just going through saline solution. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Band-Aids? 
zip ties. They just go what are through they, all the, What are these L plates? Yeah, L plates. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just start going through all this stuff and just uh, yeah. just get frustrated. Everyone else, they do a kind of a quick a quick check and they are asking if you are um, business Wars, Warzadian refugees. Um, and the reason for they're asking that is that anyone who's not a, a member of the Church of the Illumination, if, if they have a very strong faith, has been leaving the planet. Because the Church does not take kindly to any other faith. They, they tolerate atheists because they figure they can convert them. Anyone else that has a strong faith of whatever kind, they get the the church just gets uh, violent. When they notice that you're from Warzod, they they do of course ask, and then from there they tag your your passport with uh, with a symbol, um, and they said that this might come in handy later. Is this um, everyone? Nope, not that. Only the non-Confederate citizens. Only non-Confederate citizens. And you, they practically strip search you. The, and we're pointing, and pointing and at Dave. And you're pointing to. I'm pointing at Dave. And because uh, they see your facial tattoo and they almost freak out. They're like. Did they strip search Terry too? Because he's from Warzone. A woman. You no, just he's really he's want Warzone. them to strip oh, search Terry. Okay. He doesn't have the Johnson. facial tattoo that gives him away. He wasn't right. born on Warzone. He, so, he's, he, so he's a Warzoneian. So what scares them the most is the fact that they aren't finding That's weapons on you. It's just, they're like, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> like, where you got to, it? To our audience, like, uh, Dave just, just nodded like, yeah, they don't. It's because I didn't ask him to bend over. Yeah. You're used to this. Yeah. You know, after the violations you've experienced <coughs> on War Med, you know, this is nothing. I, I'm, no, I'm no, not going to say this out loud, but, like, my mind and my body is my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just stroking that barrel. Like father, like son. <laughs> 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 I'm oh, so, from here, Jerry, yes. you're getting hungry. Is this starting up a new PowerPoint presentation? Oh my goodness, it's Apple Burgers, the fish on the octopod menu. Oh, it's the best. It's best on Helios because the fish is so fresh. Okay. It is so good here. I could go for some rabbits and hot sauce. Zappa Burger style. Yeah, I don't know. Like the the rabbits are better when you're having Zappa Burger on like an agricultural like plains based planet. Like seriously, have those on Kiran. Have the fish here. You Come on. Generally, you like fish. Like I, I don't know. There seems something unsatisfying <laughs> about about a meal that doesn't squeal as you try to eat it. Yeah, yeah. I, all it does is flap around. Yeah. I know what you're saying, Jerry. Unless it bleeds red. Not a fan. I could be an Andromeda and I'd still want some cheesy nugs. <laughs> <laughs> cheesy nugs. Mm, cheesy nuggets. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys go to the part of the station. Now, the Zapper Burger is in. So as you're walking towards the Zapper Burger, this entire station is set up to accommodate both land dwelling and aquatic species. So, you know how on an airport there's those moving sidewalks where you stand on it and you move, okay? Yeah, travelator. Yeah. Travelator. Yeah. Travelator. Travel okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Well, they have tubes that are labeled salt water or fresh water. So you get aqualators. Aqualators. Um, they're, they're all over the place. There's stores I that are. I fresh water. <laughs> I'd like to call them moistenators. Moistenators. Uh, moistenators. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah. but the team's yeah. um, there's also entire sections of the station that are completely submerged. They have signs that warn that if you are uh, land dwelling, that you cannot go into these areas without a breather. You also <laughs> notice that in some stores are entirely aquatic. They have breathers that you can purchase. They're fairly cheap. Uh, they do recommend that you keep one in case of a uh, containment error. So can I cater to start having an absolute mental breakdown now, and like hyperventilating and freaking out and then like crying and just being like, <gasps> I don't know how to swim. And, like just start like just shit a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I never got going. That's what I'm doing. You know, yeah. I'm doing it. Roll your dice. Actually, right yeah, now, you're she's shitting okay, her yeah, pants. Yeah, yeah. Just... 
<laughs> I don't, oh, okay, okay. She just played a roll versus roll card. Okay, which one is this? While in character, I admit to having a fear of... Well, I, I, I'm, I'm scared of water. There we go. You are definitely on the wrong <laughs> part of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> wrong scrapping planet. Uh-huh. Um, I ha- although, we do have some um, seaweed. Do you might have to be... put me in the kiddie pool. You, no, we, no, no, we have some seaweed that's you're be very beneficial. You're fucking in fucked for the entire time you're here. Time you're here. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 a bit hard to come by. It's, it's sort of a little bit grey market, but um, yeah, we've got we've got some great seaweed that's really good for de-stressing you. Grey market. Okay. What about black market? <laughs> <laughs> can I, can, I can get you some seaweed. And was yeah, any was anyone for thinking of purchasing uh, one of the freezers seaweed. from the planet? Because I have brought my own, and it is superior technology. <laughs> so I've got floaties. No, no, no. So it's like reverse filter, right? <laughs> <laughs> and all you need just you just need to place it in the amount. So it's not gonna like so I know some people get claustrophobic with the ones that you buy down on the planet because they actually strap oh, around planet. your whole face. <laughs> this is our trader. Drinks. This is this is Anne Frazier McBeck. She is our trader. She can get you anything you Any want. Oh, I'll, I will yeah. sell you anything you want, but just not that. You're gonna have to talk to Turn and Tricks Terry down I'm there. An <laughs> I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean it's it's gonna be a good price, but it's all about supply and demand, right? So well there ain't no demand here, baby. I got you, fam. <laughs> So if anyone was thinking about purchasing, I have brought some own. I I mean the last guy who used it he was was a little rigid when I found it in him, but I have so cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> I've cleaned it. So um I don't know. Twenty credits. Right is there a second hand discount? That is the discount. How much are the ones on the planet? Yeah. Is it actually better than the ones on the planet? No, they're, they're gone for a 50. Oh. I need seaweed and this. Can I use both my hands and this? <laughs> yeah. Wait. It's no. like a little thing you slot into your mouth. I'll I'll recommend you. Why would you going to hook me up with some fresh seaweed? No, come in. The seaweed Pringle shaped. We could all use <laughs> <laughs> I think we could all use some seaweed. <laughs> so I, I rustle around in my bags and I find. Got some seaweed before we. I pull out <laughs> what looks like it's a couple of hundred years old, maybe a little bit ratty tatty. Pull it out and pull out this jar. And I hand you <laughs> one seaweed. <laughs> so we got to just chew on it. Chew on it like you would like if you're chewing tobacco or something. Or a cucumber. You know? Or a cucumber. Oh. <laughs> and you'll start to feel the effects in about 20 minutes. So that's 25 credits. <laughs> but you need, you need like three of them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you an XP point right now with that. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Using props. Oh, props. oh wait, props. did you describe what she just did to the to the you, people listening? Yeah, to the people listening, she ran to the kitchen and grabbed the cucumber from our cucumber and hummus tray <laughs> and basically sold it to another person at the table for 25 credits of yeah, beer. Yeah, what I Yeah. Mom, it took so them. quick and fast, made, made it seem like it was your idea all along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of a mental breakdown and you just... Capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, need, you need at least three. You need at least three because if you've had one, you might be a bit hungrier. One, you, you start to have a bit of nausea. <laughs> Two, you kill the nausea, and three, you're right. You're not scared of water anymore. Until until, until it wears, it wears off. off, which will take me how long? Three hours. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to teach. Three so I'm going to have three hours to teach me how to swim. Yeah, I'll do. No, I don't trust you. Just trust Arcady, me. this is how you swim. Arcady, this Arcady, is how you Arcady, swim. Arcady, I'll teach you how to swim. Where's the bar? You got this, bro. Okay, okay. Oh, Printle, right. Printle is going to spend the next three hours. I need some floaties. One, once we're done with this, Printle is going to spend three hours to teach Arcady how to swim. I, I reckon I'll use one of the, um, the on-ship, um, um, aquatic rooms. Aquatic rooms. Can okay. you take it to the oh, moist Oh, did you get the food? <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait for the next three no, cucumbers to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, baby strokes. <laughs> um, GM. I do not This is a water planet. And I don't I need that. They have a lot of visitors coming to it. What do they do for people who don't know how to swim? 
Um, well, for the most part, you can walk. It's, as I said, the station's set up to handle both. Yes. So, um, most of the people that show up don't. Um, they just walk around. Okay. It, it's just that for, like, the octopods, they're not going to alter the, uh, the landscape for that. There's entire cities uh, that are entirely just octopi. Okay. On the planet. Yeah. Um, and there's also major uh, glippin settle- settlements on floating cities. So wow. on the on the space station, think about it like when you go to one of those aquariums with the shark experience where you're walking um, through a tube and the shark's around you. Mm-hmm. Only it's the other way around. <laughs> it's reversed. So, so there's like giant tubes filled with salt or fresh water and you'll see people swimming through them and then they'll the shops that are aquatic shops will be just off of those. Right. And there'll be entry docks into the tube section. So it's kind of like oh, an aquatic habit, habit trail inside the space station sort of running parallel. Yeah. Reza's trying to keep as low a profile as he can because mm-hmm. um, I'm pretty sure if like his family knew that he was here, he wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, does Reza have family issues? Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's to do with the fact that you know he was you know taken he he took a good job, and then ungrateful. The son. Yeah, so like he kind of deserted the army that he was uh, being the med guy for because yeah. he kind of de- you're a deserter. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, there's no kind of. Yeah, that's is. like a human being kind of pregnant. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't kind happen. Of, kind of happens. It could yeah. happen. He's just trying to forget about it, okay? That's why he's Well, not that you haven't tried. I'm half yeah. 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 So Reza comes from him. He's not even time. smart enough to do uh, it for it's money. It's to do with the fact that he was... Uh, he, 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 took, he brought shame to the family. Yeah, so like he took a job. He so his cowardice... His, his it wasn't his cowardice. cowardice. Basically what happened was that he tried to tell both okay. sides. In terms of um, patching that, them up. So his complete and then, inability to have loyalty and, and then, cowardice. You don't know me, Printil. <laughs> you don't know my story. You can't judge me. Okay? Here's what I know. Yeah. Licking windows. Tribe is everything. Crowns. Nothing else comes before I the pie. I a fire of shame. Of hell. You brought shame. I was helping I do not want I to be in the care same about room this with this, war. This, this, I was trying this to help people. <laughs> I feel like we need to go to the pub and just wait for this Well, there's a, there's the Zapper Burger. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting myself. Hang on. Wait, wait, where's the octopod menu? Have you put anything new on the octopod menu? Honestly, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Terry's hungry too. Let's Jerry's. go eat. Oh, that that, that asteroid seasoning is, is a complete way. rip-off. If you get the shaker fries without the seasoning, it's only like two. They charge you like two credits just for the asteroid seasoning. But I BYO and I'll sell it to you. <laughs> Twice as much, but like for four oh, times the price. But it's fresher. But it's fresher and it's organic. Who does organic it? Asteroid seasoning. Oh, 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 oh. Who's the, where's the you would sell your me? own eggs out of the nursery, okay. wouldn't you? So as you, as you go up, did. there's a... <laughs> There's a there's a human and a so you should have uh, from go up and then put him to work. There's a human and a Gadar <laughs> that have just picked up their um, uh, the Gadar is looking at its uh it, its its bag kind of like I don't know what this is um and then you hear uh, order Smith and they hand it over and then they walk off and you hear the Gadar say I have concerns okay <laughs> so now. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my wife. Okay. For our so. listeners, that was just a big inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is face palming I happening. Face palming and crying. <laughs> so let me get in that drink. Different, different timeline. Oh um, god. Hold. Okay. So, anybody. So, each person goes up. Tell me what you're ordering. I go up and I ask the staff member, what have we got in the shellfish Who's I, attack today? Lava. Lava <laughs> is going up to the... I'm, it's weird talking about myself and Lava self in the third person. It's easy. Just <laughs> lava self. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, lava is asking the, the attendant, okay, what are the... What are the um, Seasonal shellfish in the shellfish pass pack. Oh, we got we we've got blue shells. Blue shells. Oh, oh yes. Oh my goodness, yes. that's right. It is blue shell season. Okay, I am totally gonna get an order of the shellfish pasta pack. And can I get a side of hot sauce with that? I don't want the rabbits. I just want the hot sauce because it's hot sauce on the shellfish pasta pack is just no amazing. Problem. No problem. Thank you. <clears throat> 
Oh, 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 do you have a, um, do you have an algae milkshake as well? Yep. Yay! I'm gonna get that. Okay, next person. Oh, I guess Terry will go up, because, yeah, Terry. Um, <clears throat> sir, can I please have a total T-Rex burger with a side of fries, thanks. Okay. Do they do drinks? Yep. Uh, not, not, not alcoholic. alcoholic. <laughs> they do great algae milkshakes. I'll just get some mango and then all great, thank you. Just get a mango mag- milkshake and wait for Reza. a while. Reza. I'm getting some mangoes Reza. and an all great. Reza. I got fast, bro. We're good. Right. I'll get three <laughs> little zappers with cheese. I like them because they're little, but I need more. Um, do you do have they... any drinks? Oh yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> and Fresh Water Beck has drinks off the wazoo. Fifty credits. Water. Water. Are you shitting me? <laughs> That's twenty credits. Of course. Fresh Water Beck. She I'm says, just gonna... on the water planet, selling water oh, to a water-dwelling <laughs> being. Crimson's gonna have an order of the new Pinkie Poppers. Four of them. They're little mice or something? Um, I'm no, gonna... They're, they're can they're I just have They're little... Elon Pinkies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Elon Pinkie. <laughs> 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 oh, you in the back. Chop! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Can no, I order do. the Lip Little Zapper but minus cheese? And do I get a discount if I get it without cheese? Oh my God. Like, you can take more. either cheese Tell off and sell it to someone I, I, else. I don't know. I, you <laughs> can put <laughs> that cheese away and sell it later. He, he, he's looking at his at his screen because I don't know what to do with this. Um, calls for a manager. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Manager's uh, like... Um, no, I'll turn the menu. <coughs> Reza just tuts. Don't, don't take off... Um, half a credit? Yeah, half a credit. Okay, I'll have that. I'll have a little zapper minus cheese, and can I get a shake fries without the asteroid seasoning, please? Can I okay. have? Do I get a discount on that? No. I'll have the shake of fries then with asteroid seasoning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Oh. Yes. Big Big Stew's gonna have some of those live crabs. He's gonna eat them like a big worm from a famous space western. Mmm. <laughs> Um, our kid is too busy trying not to throw up in her mouth, so she can yeah. pass. That's okay. Seaweed. Yeah, she hasn't had enough. She needs more. How many you had? Um, I didn't know. How many have you had? The moment we've You've only only had one. For. You need two more. That's fifty more credits. No. So I, I have a few questions. I, I just wanted to um, ask before making my order. Your your rabbits are the aqua rabbit so where where are they sourced from oh they're terrestrial uh there's a uh, we get them from turnhout oh no no so, what what's the layer of the time there oh well we get them how fresh are these rabbits you Still say alive, live, but, but the helios climate is not good for terrestrial produce <laughs> um, I would recommend the rats then. The the rats are local. They're surviving, <laughs> including on our. Rosa, what do you <laughs> make of the Helios rats? Um, are they trying to pull the fleece? Mate, they, they ain't they ain't kind of scrappy. So what are you getting? What are you getting? Sheep. All right, can I try to um? Can you have like, a sample? Can, can, can I see if they're trying, if they're just bullshitting, or if they actually sound like they know what they're talking about? Yeah, he kind of knows, but it's like the script that they have. It sounds yeah. like he's a teenager behind the desk. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> pretty much. And then, and then, then somebody who's just turned twenty is the manager. Mm. Look, son. I'm not trying to be a difficult customer. I work, I work hospitality when I was twice your age. I know how it goes. I'm not angry at you. I just want to know. And you're like, are the rats good? The rats? Mm-hmm. It's this. I'm human. I've never had them. But I'm not angry with you, son. I just want to know about the rats. The manager's like, how, how about this? Why don't we give you the first pack for free? How lively are these rats? Can I see them? They bring over a, a glass cage, and they're they're doing the rat thing. The rat thing or the rat thing? Rat. 
both of Jerry's eyes are just like focusing on each rat and it's like turning as each of them moves. Can I um can can Terry tell Jerry to hurry up because I'm hungry? You can tell Terry tell him. Jerry <laughs> Hurry up make your order, mate. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty, I need that drink. Terry, You'll have the Terry, rest. you know I don't say this often, and when I say it, you know I love you, right? Yeah, I know you love me, man. But, but please yeah. shut your whole mouth right now. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll let you have that one, but can you just can you hurry it up, please, mate? I'm just come on. Look, if you're having trouble deciding, um, the rats. I've I've sampled them. They're not really to my taste, but they're kind of okay. Um, the rabbits. They're not really great either. The shellfish pasta pack's also, it, that's really good. I always like that one. Um, or if you want some like red meat, you could get the, the, uh, or is it the go to chow? You could get the tofu. What is your liveliest stock on the menu? This is fast food, it's not fun dining. Were you still thirsty about that? <laughs> Jerry is a connoisseur. Thank you. Well, we could check the cage. I'm vermin. Yeah, check the cage, please. Right at the back. <laughs> he goes to the back and hear this whack, whack, whack. Yeah, here's the live one. This one is just. Frick. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And give me a live crab in the hot sauce as well. And a big zapper. And a little zapper with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and some fries. <laughs> that'll be yours. Okay, so. As you guys are eating, what are you guys talking about? We're just going to do that. Oh! Was your character going to order? He says to... The to atrium. Be. To atrium. atrium. <laughs> okay, extra point. Explain <laughs> 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 to our audience at home. Uh, Cherith just pulled out a roll versus roll card uh, called Are You Talking to Me? It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got a bonus because you got a free rat. <laughs> Holy shit, they did. <laughs> nice. nice, well done. So, uh, B, what would you... Uh, your... I wanted to ask the server what the third thing is on the menu when it comes up. Tides are new, or...? Um, it's not all the new. Yeah. Oh, there was a whole T-Rex, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> <It's over. laughs> I'll share with you. Yeah. Oh, I challenge? wonder if they have a like T Rex eating challenge. But <laughs> <laughs> they have to hold it with their hands. That, 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 yeah. uh, that is a traditional Gadar meal. Is it good in a fast food joint? I doubt it's like a it's, snack is. Is anything good in a fast food joint? I, it's I, at best you're you're like yeah, it's fifty percent there. You know, fifty maybe if the if if the cook is um no, you know actually had it. You're I fine. Had yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'd waste the credits, I'll get the tofu. Okay. So, as you guys are eating, a Glippin and an Elom sitting in the next booth. Uh, the Elom looks over and says, Kind sir, could you please pass the salt? Thank you kindly. Tom is very mopey today. Why is that? He says he's been sent to the friend zone. That sounds like it's a good place to be. I'm not sure why he's upset. Tom is odd that way. By the way, your rat's about to escape. No, just giving it a chance to stretch its legs before it becomes my snack. That is very kind of you. From what I understand, the friend zone is this wonderful place where human males and females get to interact with each other without the social pressures of needing to breed all the time. They can just relax and be themselves. So are you saying this is a place where people can be true friends? Why have I never been sent to the friend zone? I have tried to find this place on the star charts and have not been successful. Perhaps it's a place of human folklore. Kind of like Valhalla? Oh, I can see that only the best of friends get to go there. I bet they have free zapper burgers there. Oh, well, medium whiskey and shot glasses next to every chessboard. Oh, I'd be happy to be in the friend zone. Maybe this is why Tom is unhappy about this. Maybe he's too focused on breeding to be a good friend in the first place. He knows that once he gets there, he'll be kicked out. Well, that is sad. He just needs to value people. I'm just disappointed about not getting to go to the friend zone. No, my friend. 
You're already there. I'll go grab a chessboard. You have an office meeting on the space station, and you know everyone is hungry. Bring them Zapper Burger! Get a Zapper Burger Super Combo. That's two Zapper Burgers with cheese. One, two, two Rex! One veggie burger with extra meat. Two side orders of rats. One order of pinky poppers. And five mango sodas. Feed everyone and stay under budget. Only at Zapper Burger. Yum yum.